I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the Market Minute for Tuesday, April 2nd. Soybeans started Tuesday's session higher, but a lot like Monday, they closed lower with initial spillover support from soybean oil, giving way to overhead technical resistance and a lack of follow-through buying. Soybeans also saw a little bit of pressure from a lower move in bean meal. Corn closed lower, watching U.S. planning activity. Now there will be some near-term delays in parts of the Corn Belt, but progress is just a little bit ahead of normal right now, even if most of that is in Texas. Many areas are expected to make decent progress in between the raindrops and slightly colder conditions in much of the region over the next few days. And wheat closed lower. 56% of the U.S. winter wheat crops rated good to excellent. That is well above a year ago, and recent rain should help things out in the southern U.S. plains. Live and feeder cattle were higher, getting ready for widespread direct cash cattle business. Things remained fairly quiet during the session. That allowed traders to buy, buy back part of yesterday's losses. And hogs were mixed, mostly higher, on spread trade and the higher midday move in pork, with another quiet day for cash during the session. With the Market Minute for Tuesday, April 2nd, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.